Alright guys, this is Paul, going to give you a quick rundown on a game that took place during the weekend. Uh, this is a game of Warhammer between two Orc armies, Orc and Goblins, and uh, me and uh, a very regular opponent as he's becoming, um, s just had a, had a go at each other. Uh, and it's Orcs and Goblins <laughs> over here with the, um, let's just call them Orcs and Goblins with the the, the straw, the yellow bases, and that's, um, that's my lot. <clears throat> the models don't actually belong to me, but... Um, I'm the one commanding the uh, the orcs and goblins on this particular side of the border, and uh, my opponent is also orcs and goblins, as you guys may have realised by now. Uh, so I'll just talk you through it. My army um, has got two units of night goblins, and they have fanatics in them, and uh, there are two units of boar boys. So that's the main distinguishing thing between me and my opponent is that I've got the night goblins and fanatics and the boar boys, and he doesn't have anything like that. Um, I've got a big unit of black orcs and a big unit of savage orcs. Uh, he's got uh, two units like that as well. We've both got giants, I've got trolls, he hasn't got trolls, I've got a savage orc, great shaman on foot, and he's got an, um, an orc war boss and a wyvern. So, uh, next photo you can see the other side of the, the table here, basically got some um, goblin spearmen in the forest. Goblin spearmen, terrible unit, they're absolutely just shockingly bad. But, um, you know, this is, this is a fluffy army that I've really chosen based on the models available. I don't really have um, many other models to sort of pick and choose from. It's just my kind of uh, relaxation, uh, have a bit of fun army. And uh, that's the way it's going. Next photo, you can see my opponent on the other side. Uh, he's got things like chariots and pump wagons, a lot of spear chuckers, uh, arrow boys, stuff like that. And you can see his big wyvern in the background. Going to take you to the next photo. We can see the other side of the table here where he's got his giant, which basically, um, you've seen it in my previous battle reports before, the uh, the Mauler model, the, uh, the privateer press one. And uh, you can see some savage orcs, black orcs, arrow boys in the hill. Just ready to get started, decide whose uh, orc tribe is the greatest uh, in this particular game of Warhammer. So, next picture, um, my opponent starts, or you can see the high elves in the, uh, <laughs> in the background there, but my opponent uh, takes the first turn, moves his wyvern straight around the flank, and uh, follows up with some with the giant and uh, the wolf boys in, 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 the, um, in support. So that's what he's looking to be doing there. Next photo, you can see the squid coppers charging through the forest, uh, getting ready to uh, attack in the center, as well as uh, the forest goblin spider riders that um, moving through the forest on the far side there. And uh, that's really about it for movement. He didn't really get any good spells off. I've got a lot of dispel dice um, from my particular army taking spirit totem, more spirit totem. And in the following turn, you can see uh, my response to that with the giant moving straight out, the uh, night goblins moving straight forward and, and unleashing some fanatics. Um, <laughs> What I did in the in the initial turn was just to call a war, and the plan there was to move the savage orc boy biggins forward and then charge his war boss because I had a really tooled up unit. But that was the single unit that rolled a one for the for the animosity check for the calling the war, and they just got obliterated by the d6 strength six hit. So that sucked, and um, the war totally petered out. Didn't do anything else. It was really stupid. The only thing it did help with was moving the um, the night goblins on the far right flank forward as you'll see in the next photo, because the fanatics were unleashed and went right in front of the war boss there. War boss, of course, can fly over the fanatics, so he's not in trouble, but the giant and the uh, the wolf boys are kind of held up for a little bit. But yeah, a bit, uh, a bit kind of funny that that happened. Next photo, it's uh, my opponent's turn, and his war boss charges straight into the goblin spearman unit uh, and, and straight into a challenge, too, with my goblin champion, and uh, actually doesn't wipe out the unit. I managed to win with combat res there, and... Uh, yeah, uh, more and more this is looking like a bad play here by my opponent, just charging the nearest goblin unit. Uh, of course he's frenzied, he could have charged any of the units uh, nearby, but went for the goblins, and uh, I guess wasn't in the best position after all, because now he's stuck um, in that uh, that particular combat and can't really affect the rest of the game for a bit. Next photo, uh, we've got a big combat here with the giant straight into the enemy savage orcs, being charged in the flank with square coppers as well. Uh, his knight goblin shaman, or his goblin shaman on the wolf chariot charges into my boar boys and loses the combat. What happens here is that the Chariot um, fled back through the combat behind him and uh, was destroyed. And of course, impact hits through that combat as well. And then the Boar Boys overran into the Savage Orc unit. So that that was absolutely crazy. Um, really bad luck there for my opponent. But if you look at the next photo, you can sort of see how that's going to turn out. The, um, the, the, the Chariot in the, the foreground uh, flying back through the Savage Orc unit. And of course, my Black Orcs and Savage Orcs uh, moving into the center of the of the field as well. So it's shaping up to be a great game. Really good time, Orcs and Goblins versus Orcs and Goblins. 
Next one after that, um, the Night Goblin unit passes its terror check and decides to charge the um, War Wasp in the rear here. I know that the model's positioned so that they're flanking it, but we just couldn't fit the wings in, so the model is actually meant to be facing towards the Goblin Spearman unit, if that, if that helps you guys. But um, my opponent, <laughs> in such a bad way here, because he's being um, swamped by about 40 goblins, and um, the combat res is just totally getting him to him. And what actually happened in this combat, of course, is that Wyvern failed its, terror, um, its break test and was destroyed by the goblins. How humiliating for one orc war boss. And uh, now the game definitely swinging in my favor. The giant in the background is trying to uh, maneuver its way, playing dodgeball with the fanatics and <laughs> moving through the, the screen. Next photo, um, my powerful unit of Black Orcs here are just dishing it out. Um, they've wiped out the uh, Squig Hoppers pretty much. And um, <laughs> a fanatic has moved in right next to them. Hasn't actually touched them yet, but they're, they're mauling the, uh, the Savage Orcs as well. So this uh, brutal unit of, of Black Orcs really um, carving out the center of the field for, for my uh, particular tribe here. Next photo, the Giant has charged into the Night Goblins and uh, is duking it out with them. Probably will do pretty well in that combat. Next photo.